Hello students, in this video we'll prove the Kolmogorov maximal inequality. The Kolmogorov maximal inequality is extremely important in the study of random series and the law of large numbers. And it states the following, it says if x1, let, let's let x1, x2, xn, be iid with mean 0 and bounded variance. Like so. Okay. Then define SK to be the partial sums. Just random walk over here. Partial sums. And then we have the following inequality. The probability that the maximum that SK is bigger than lambda is less than or equal to lambda to the negative 2, the variance of Sn. S, N, like that. Okay, great. Of course, it's a maximal estimate because I'm estimating the probability of the maximum of any one of these things is larger than lambda, right? So you take the biggest one of those things, the biggest partial, estimate that partial sum, figure out what's bigger than lambda. And so here's the idea. So we're going to define, we're going to break our part probability space into a whole bunch of subspaces, right? And so we're going to define, so here's the proof. Define omega 1 to be the set where S1 is bigger than or equal to lambda, right? Easy enough. Omega 2 is the set of points such that S2 is bigger than or equal to lambda and S1 is less than lambda. That's also possible, right? And then in general, omega k is the set where sk is bigger than equal to lambda and sj is less than lambda for all the smaller j, right? For j less than k. All right? Now, notice that these things are disjoint, so these are disjoint sets. Okay? Okay. And so now here's the idea. What we're going to do is we're going to compute the expected value of Sn squared, which is exactly the variance. So since these, since these have mean 0, this is just what? This is just the expected value of Sn squared, right? So let's compute the expected value of Sn squared. And so, of course, this is bigger than or equal to, well, just the integral, basically, right? The integral over the probability space of Sn squared d probability, okay, by definition. Okay, and so here omega is the whole space, right? These are defined on omega f probability, okay? Great. And so now I can write this as the sum. K goes from 1 up to n of the integrals by the partitioning. They're disjoint, so I can partition the space up into these omega k's. Sn squared. And I'm going to do something sort of funny here now. So in other words, I'm going to replace Sn squared with an algebraic identity, right? So we can note, so we can check, note that Sn squared is really Sk squared plus twice Sk Sn minus Sk plus Sn minus Sk quantity squared, right? Because this thing over here is going to be what? It's going to be a total of what? Of Sn squared minus 2SNSK plus SK squared over here like that. And so then, um, what do we have over here? So how many SK squares do we have? We have SK squared over here. We have negative 2SK squared and SK squared. Those cancel out, right? And then we have 2SNSNK. Those are going to cancel out, and we're just left with Sn squared. So in other words, here's an algebraic identity, right? And the key behind this is that this thing over here is greater than or equal to 0, right? That's not, that doesn't vanish. It's a positive thing. And so I'm going to write Sn squared as three things over here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have this Sk squared. That's the good term for us. 
Then I'm going to have two S, K, and then S, N minus S, K. And then finally, we're going to have what? Then finally, we're going to have these S, N minus S, K squareds, S, N minus S, K quantity squared, dp. Okay, so we're going to use this decomposition over here. And you can sort of sense, because I know that since this is a random walk, I know that the random walk up to time k should be independent of these things, and that's going to be true by version of my independence. Okay, so I'm using this classical sort of martingale random walk trick when we're doing this over here. Okay, so now I'm going to say this is larger than or equal to, bigger than or equal to the sum. k goes from 1 up to n, integral over omega k of the s k squared, dp. On this, those are dps dp, and then plus the sum. Now I'm going to write this in the following way. I'm going to say this is really just the integral plus these terms over here plus integral over omega k. And throwing the, I'm going to throw those terms away because they're not negative. They'll make it smaller, right? And then 2sk and then sn minus sk over here, dp. And of course, this thing is really happening. I can replace this with the whole probability space omega if I wish and put the characteristic function of omega k in here, right? Well, now the kicker is that now I'm over the whole probability space. And now I can use independence because I'm over the whole probability space. This, this random variable over here, this characteristic function, this is what is within the sigma algebra generated by x1 up to xk. And this thing over here is in the sigma algebra generated by x k plus 1 up to xn, right? And these sigma algebras are independent of each other, so now those terms are going to drop out and give me 0. And so now what can I say? Now I can say this is bigger than or equal to the sum k goes from 1 up to n, the integral over omega k. Now on omega k, what do we know? On omega k, s k is bigger than lambda squared. So I'm going to replace s k squared with just lambda squared, right? s k is bigger than lambda, so this is bigger than equal to lambda squared, dp. And now if I add up all these things, that's the, we have the probability that on each of these things, the sum of these probabilities is just the maximum, right? So this is going to be lambda squared. And of course, the probability of omega k means that this is true, or this is true, or this is true, or this is true, which means the max Maximum, that's the probability that the maximum i less than 1 plus j less than n of sj is bigger than or equal to lambda. And so what have we just shown over here? We've just shown over here that lambda squared times the probability the maximum of the uh, partial sums over here is bigger than lambda is less than or equal to the expected value squared, which is the what? That's just the variance of sn, right? So if I throw the lambda squared on the other side, what do we have? I'll have a variance of Sn, like right here. I'll have a lambda to the negative 2 when I throw it on the other side of the equation, right there. And now the probability that I want over there. So we've proven the Kolmogorov logarithm of maximal inequality. And we'll see in further videos how this really helps us estimate and prove the convergence of random series of, of random series of random variables. Thank you very much.